It's just so simple. And now if I want to read that book, I just tap on it. And here it is. And this is what it's like to read a book. I have some controls. I can just tap in the center and the controls go away, get them back, send them away. And to flip the page, I just flip forward. I tap anywhere on the right. And I flip forward. Flip back, just tap on the left. That's it. I can even flip myself if I want by dragging it, if I'd like, you know. <laughs> Very simple. And uh, I can go to the table of contents here. And um, I can uh, just uh, pick a chapter and go there. I'm going to pick uh, part two, Brotherhood. And again, you can have photos, black and white, or color. You can have video, if you'd like, in your books. Whatever, whatever the author wants. It's very, very easy. And this is what it's like. And we can uh, change the font size if we'd like, bigger or smaller. We can change the font. Pick a different font. Whatever you want. And that is iBooks. So iBooks, again, a great reader, a great online bookstore the iBookstore, all in one really great app. We use the EPUB format, and so it is the most popular open book format uh, in the world. And we're very, very excited about this. We think the iPad is going to make a terrific ebook reader, not just for uh, uh, popular books, but we are also very excited about textbooks uh, as well. Now, something very exciting. I work. A little over a year ago, I asked the head of our I work team to take a look at creating a version of I work for the iPad. And the initial reaction was, ah, the I work apps, Keynote, Pages and Numbers, are really heavy duty apps. Uh, they require a lot of horsepower. Could the tablet? power them? And the answer turned out to be a resounding, you betcha. And then, could we come up with an entirely new user interface for these apps? It's very different than running on a personal computer. And what they came up with was really, is really magnificent. And so, to tell us about iWork on iPad, I'd like to invite up Phil Schiller, our Senior Vice President of Product Marketing. Phil? Thank you. Good morning, everyone. This is really exciting. iWork is a suite of applications that millions and millions of our customers on the Mac truly love. These applications are innovative, they're beautiful, they're creative, they're fun, and our customers at home and in schools and in business are able to create professional quality presentations, word processing documents, and spreadsheets, all with this amazing software. And as Steve told you, the iWork team has been hard at work for a year now, seeing if they can take this amazing software and bring it to a multi-touch tablet, the iPad. And I can tell you, they've done some amazingly remarkable work. We have a completely new version of Keynote designed specifically for the iPad, where you can create professional presentations just with your fingers. There's a complete new version of Pages. It is the most beautiful word processor you will ever see. And there's a complete new version of Numbers, a spreadsheet that is fun and cool to use. When's the last time someone's told you that? <laughs> and really, the only way to, to appreciate how amazing the software is is for me to show you. So I'm really honored to be the first to show you the new iWork applications on the tablet. So here we go. I get to sit in the chair. <laughs> Let's launch Keynote. Keynote runs in landscape orientation because that's the way our slides are. Our slides are designed horizontally. 
And when we launch into Keynote, the first thing we do is we see our slide library. This is a library of presentations that we have created in Keynote. I can create a new presentation by just tapping a button to do so, and I have access to these gorgeous templates, just what you would expect in Keynote. I'm going to go into this first presentation, Seven Wonders of the World. We open it up, and the first thing you see is a great layout. I have a big, beautiful slide to work on so I can create my content. I've got some menu items on the top, and I have my slide navigator, something familiar to all Keynote users, on the left-hand side. To move around the slide navigator, I just scroll with my finger. It's that easy. I want to go to a slide, I just tap on it, slide two. Now this slide shows you it has beautiful text, great templates. Slide three, you can see there's a table. You can create tables right in Keynote. The next slide four shows a chart. You can create beautiful charts and graphs in Keynote. Now here I am on slide five. It's an introduction slide. I think I want that further up in the presentation. How do I move a slide around in the navigator without a keyboard or mouse? It's really simple. I'm going to hold my finger down on it. It pops up out of the canvas. And I drag it wherever I want and let go. And now I've rearranged my slide. Well, that's for one. What if I want to move a bunch of slides? Watch this. I'm going to pick slide five, drag it over, and then I'm going to tap four, tap three, and they create a bundle that I can drag and place anywhere I want, and they snap into place. So multi-touch gestures used to arrange all my slides. Slide eight shows we can have incredible graphics and photos on this. Well, how do I get them in? I've got a media navigator. I can get right into all my content, like my photos and my my photo albums and just bring them right on. And when I bring the photos onto a slide, how do I move them around? Of course, I use my finger. I just tap on a photo and I can drag it around, place it wherever I want. I've got those convenient guides that I'm used to to help me align things. I want to resize a photo. How do I do that? Easy. I grab one of these blue handles and I start resizing. Now let's say I'm resizing this photo and I want it to be exactly the same size as the one below it. While I'm resizing, I just tap the other one and it sees I want to match them and I let go and they're now matched to the same size. I want to rotate a photo, I use two fingers. I want to mask a photo, watch this, I just double tap and I can expand this image, move it around, tap done. I've just done a mask and that's an advanced technique that people do in presentations. It's so easy in Keynote. What else is easy? Animations. Keynote has beautiful animations. The same is true on the iPad. Let's say I want to bring this chart in with a build. Well, I go into animation mode. It's a button on the top right. And I see there's no build-in assigned yet, so I'm going to tap the build-in button. And I have access to all these great animations. Let's do a scale. And it will automatically preview that scale. Well, I use the same technique if I want to create transitions on slides. In animation mode, I tap the slide. I see that there hasn't been a transition set yet, so I select it. And I have great transitions. Let's pick the cube, and I'll preview that as well. So very quickly and easily, with just my finger, I'm doing very advanced slide animation techniques. Whenever I'm ready to present, I start wherever I want. We'll start with slide six. I hit the play button. And once I do that, we're now presenting. And I can advance slides by either tapping or swipe right to go forward or left to go back. So I tap to go to the next slide, tap to bring up that chart we just animated, Tap to do that cube transition we just did. Now watch this one. When I tap, that's called magic move. Automatic animation transitions created in Keynote. A very advanced feature. That's on the iPad as well. Look at the quality of some of these graphics and transitions. They're just beautiful. Anytime I want to get out of it, I just double tap, and I'm back into Keynote, and I'll tell my presentations. So that's a very quick, brief view of Keynote and all the power it has on the iPad. Now let's go to Pages.